Good morning. So here we are at one of my favorite fishing spots. A little gem called Genesee Lake. And uh, we're here mid-October. Holy. I think it was a little frog. Definitely don't want to step on that guy. As you can tell, I've got my uh, bear spray handy. Fishing pole in hand. Not sure what's in season at the moment, so it's just catch and release day today, which is fine with me. Me and a couple buddies actually camped here. Um, May long weekend of this year. And here I am, Thanksgiving Monday. Canadian Thanksgiving Monday, that is. Nah. Get settled down here at the peninsula. And as you can tell, and it's an amazing spot. Look at this. Crown Land Camping. That's what I'm telling you. Pristine. Gorgeous. Unserviced. But well worth it. tell you the one cool thing about this spot last time uh, I have a rooftop tent so I couldn't be down here uh, camping on the peninsula with my other buddies um, but when they woke up at like 6 something 6 15 a.m. across the water there all the way over there he heard something sure enough it was a moose it dipped into the water, came out of the bushes, dipped into the water, and literally swam across this bay. My friend was so excited. He ran up this hill to my tent to get me. Thank goodness I was already awake and uh, already foggy-headedly making my way down, but came down just to see the moose get to about here and swim into this little bay and up onto this grass and up into the bush it uh it was pretty magical thanks again and aaron for coming to get me uh you could have just sat there and uh or stood there and soaked in that magical moment alone but you came to get me that's what makes these spots so much better it's great being here right now don't get me wrong but it's much better to share these moments with your friends and loved ones. If you can convince them to come out to the bush, that is easier said than done. I had to come back up to the vehicle. Forgot my tackle box, of course. It's okay. Just want to give you guys a good uh, shot of where I'm parked. Basically uh, on this ATV trail, just off of it, of course. Um, goes down that way towards the waterfall. Little creek crossing actually right before rapids, I should say, not a waterfall. And that's the way it came in. About, I don't know, 5k off of a forestry road. About 350 kilometers north of Toronto. Right. And this bad boy takes me anywhere I want to go. Alright, let's get back down to the fishing spot. Sorry about the camera. Trusty bear spray in hand, of course. Sorry about the rough camera work. Gotta get me a tripod, I think, soon. So it's a bit of a jot, but. Well worth it.
And just like that, <clears throat> you're surrounded by Northern Ontario, I guess it's still Central Ontario, forest and lake. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. My buddies were here, uh, like I said, May 2-4, we, we used back here as tent pads. They did, I uh, had two of them, and like I said, I was at the top of the hill on my rooftop tent. All right, let's get a couple more casts in before uh, I set sail. Well, making my way back to the vehicle. Got one uh, pike on, ended up being a strong bugger, and broke my pole so uh, and he got away with a lure so that's not gonna be too fun for him either but so packing it up gonna make my way back out this bush and out to the forestry road back towards civilization thanks for coming along this trip and uh look forward to posting more videos and uh, doing some outdoors things whenever i get a chance start the journey out of this bush slow and steady spots that uh, get pretty tight along this way but even still you gotta be careful of rocks and whatnot so if I hadn't been through here numerous times I definitely wouldn't be trusting what's underneath these leaves because even since May there's been a fair amount change on this road uh, like this tree coming up that uh, on my way in I had to get out and break a lot of the small branches off and I was able to squeeze over but uh, you know there's rocks on the other side so you don't want to hit the sidewall of your tire either so Jinx knocked on wood slow and steady eyes open all right That, uh, that tree was not down and I did not bring an axe or a handsaw or for that matter a chainsaw with me because it was kind of just a impromptu trip that uh, I decided to go on. Coming up here we're gonna get a good view of the lake over to the right before we circle out and exit this little valley area put it in park take a look at this pretty amazing area and that's what we were looking off into that chunk of land on your right that jets out it's a peninsula it's just fishing at Sorry, sorry, little pike. All right. Get you back on my dash mount and continue on out of here. All right. And the other area that gets pretty hairy is that was there before, but it uh, is a tree that fell over the road, but is still being propped up. It's a, a widow maker, if you will. And with my added height of my roof rack and then my rooftop tent on top of my roof rack, 
this thing uh, sits pretty tall, especially with the suspension and uh, the tires. So. It's the only thing, uh, if you care about your paint job, <laughs> this probably isn't the pastime for you. Creeping up here. Uh, See over to the right again. Saying goodbye to that lake area. Let's put you back on there. All right, and now we're creeping up to that tree I was talking about. So, oh yeah, pretty soft here too. It's the only thing with the <laughs> with these Toyota FJ Cruisers. They are like tanks, man. You can get through many, many spots. All right, so let's let's give her. All right, we're under her. Now we gotta go up this crest, this bank. done slow and steady there's a log there on the right we got to maneuver around all right should be around it creeping up this hill now on some of these adventures uh, my brother likes to come too but uh, he does not have four-wheel drive uh, what he's done is uh, some of you might know to appreciate it's called uh, van life uh, he's got a E250 that uh, he has retrofitted the back and uh, to a pretty sweet little home on wheels. Uh, it's been his little pet project here for a while and uh, I believe it's uh, complete now, which is good. But, you know, we all know the story with that. Uh, you're never really fully complete. Even on my overland rig here, there's still lots more I want to get done to it. I've just got the bare minimals, uh, in my opinion, so far. Just really tires and strapped a roof to the tent or roof top tent to the top and uh, yeah so anyways long story short is uh, we camp out in this clearing because my brother's van can get here no problem um, and it's actually a pretty cool little camp spot because uh, we ended up doing some exploring the next day and, and found out oh here I'll show you guys So it's a nice little clearing. And then over here, I guess that was, that's where oh, it looks like other people have definitely been here since, which I don't doubt. But uh, fire pit. And then right here is the entrance to a whole... I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a trail that goes on for kilometers and kilometers and kilometers. We uh, we hike down it, a good five, six K. Just comes out to this big majestic opening where there's water and trees. You definitely think it'd be a spot for wildlife for sure. And uh, yeah, just and other trails going other which ways. It's uh, obviously a lot of hunting going on down there. But uh, yeah, this spot is uh, pretty kick-ass. I'd have to say. All right, let's get going here, though.
nothing too crazy getting all the way back here. Like I said, my brother's van can do it. Although he is in the E250, which has a bit better suspension than, than the 150 series. But uh, obviously that clearance as far as he could go. He doesn't want to go the, down that embankment underneath the tree and whatnot. So This is the other little little washout area that uh, can be a little challenging. This is what I meant by like uh, your suspension. Uh, definitely plays a role in your vehicle being able to get back here. Now, just let me take a look here. This is what it spills out into. Beautiful little access way. This is a different lake, uh, not the same lake that uh, I was fishing on. Every time I get here, I, I hope to see some wildlife too, but uh, you know, it's just a matter of the timing. No such luck. All right, I'll get you back on the dash here while we uh, embark up this. It shouldn't be much of a problem for my vehicle, but you never know.
come back out to the access road here. It's just called Forestry Road, as many of them are. I'll just do a quick once over in my vehicle before I uh, get out there because it's not very long before we hit the highway. So, not too bad. She uh, she held up pretty good. As she always does, this thing has got me anywhere and everywhere I've asked her to bring me. And uh, that's been some uh, pretty pretty exciting spots so far. I uh, didn't start picking up the camera, as you can tell, until recently. Uh, so I got a long way to go on that aspect, but uh, we got a lot of places to go as well. So, hope you enjoyed today's adventure. Because not all who wander are lost. And uh, see you again soon.